breast cancer continues to be one of the most common cancers among American women. About one in eight women in the U.S. will develop invasive breast cancer during their lifetime. This includes 6,000 Massachusetts residents who will be diagnosed and more than 700 who will lose their battle with cancer. The good news is that there are more than 2.8 million breast cancer survivors in the U.S. because with early detection, the chances for beating breast cancer are much more favorable. One way you can help is by supporting the American Cancer Society's Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, as over 300 communities, like the city of Boston, unite across the country, raising more than $460 million to fight breast cancer. This year's event will take place on Sunday, October 2nd, at the Department of the, the DCR Hat Shell, starting at 8 a.m. Now to tell us more about this year's event and also how you can get involved, we've invited on the show this morning Sasha Vat, Walk Manager for Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, and Dorothy Bishop, a breast cancer survivor and Strides participant. Welcome to Urban Update, ladies. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Sasha, let me start with you, sort of by getting our viewers uh, psyched up for the, the walk this year. I know you've been on some of the other shows here on Channel 7. How do you describe this event to those who are not familiar with it? So the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk is, um, the Boston one particularly, is the oldest and largest one-day breast cancer walk in the country. And it all happens on one morning. It's a two or five mile non-competitive walk that takes place at the Hat Shell and encourages everybody to come down, rally around survivors, remember those who we've lost, sur um, surround those who are currently in the battle, um, going through breast cancer treatment, and just kind of remind people that this is still a cause we need to pay attention to. Dorothy, as a breast cancer survivor, uh, how important is seeing and and all of the support for those battling breast cancer. Oh, it's very important. It, 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 oh. So yeah, just you know, how does you know, when, you, when you think about all those people out there uh, walking and getting involved and in doing doing this um, as a breast cancer survivor, uh, how, do, how does that make you feel? Well, it's my passion, of course, now being a two-time survivor. It makes me feel good that people come out because that is important when you're going through this, that you have a support team. It's, it's tough when you're battling cancer. So the more people that get involved is to help other people that don't have a supportive family. That's why uh, American Cancer Society is a good place to go because they do help people that may be going through that don't have family members. So there's other ways to get support because you do need support when you're going through this so that's very important now Sasha how many years has it been now and uh, who participates in this so this is our 24th year we're really excited um, the making strides brand started here in Boston so we also have that hometown pride and uh, we have over 40,000 participants who come from around the greater Boston area all ages it's a great family event um, but also it reminds people that breast cancer affects men women children adults everybody who's who surrounds you know the survivors now Dorothy this event and raises funds, but it also serves to raise awareness, that's another big part of it, uh, about breast cancer and how to prevent it. What are some of the things that you think uh, need to be said uh, around prevention and early detection? It's important to have early detection because this is what happened to me uh, the last time I had a 3D mammogram. People should know the resources that's out there to, to help them, so that's very important. Early detection, uh, getting your checkups on time, follow-ups. Yeah, that's a problem with people, just some, some women wait too long or some... Uh, men and women wait just way too long? I believe that's the case because now with it's different than say 30 years ago mm -hmm. if you it's not a death sentence mm -hmm. so if you get early detection your chances are most likely uh, positive mm -hmm. but if you just let it slip through and you say oh I don't need it and it don't go on and by the time you get there it's either gone to the lymph nodes or spread mm -hmm. it around so it's good to okay. and and uh, Sasha, so tell us how, how people can help and how people can get involved. Sure. So they can come down to the walk on Sunday, October 2nd. Uh, it's a rolling start from 8 to 10, so there's no official start time. They can go whenever they'd like. But also they can go to our website, which is makingstrideswalk.org forward slash Boston MA. They can register, start a team, get their family and friends involved, which Dorothy did last year with her office. And then they can also um, continue to fundraise until the end of the year if they're not able to make it to the walk. Dorothy, uh, 
uh, you've met uh, a number of uh, wonderful people, I'm sure, in the times that you've walked. Uh, any lifelong friends that came about because of your uh, participation? Oh, definitely. Even at the beauty salon, a lot of people were going to get their mammograms, and um, I met a lot of wonderful people at the American Cancer Society, research doctors, uh, people at my job has rallied with me, and it's like they're my best friends, and each day they keep, you know, rallying with me. So I've met a lot of people. Wow. He's part of the American Cancer Society <laughs> family now, that Making Strides family. <laughs> 24th, this is the 24th? 24th, yeah. Yes. You all have to be congratulated. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you so much for your continued support with Channel 7. We really appreciate it. Okay, well, it's, it's an honor to do that. I speak on behalf of the station. Well, thank you for coming in, ladies. When we return, we'll give you a quick update on what sickle cell anemia is, what the populations are affected most, and how you can help. All that information right here under the Maggie Hassan loves spending your money. In Concord, Tax and Hassan voted for 100 tax and fee increases on small businesses.